I was so worried. About what? Well, that all the things that have been happening to me were because of you and your mother. And when Dr. Raymond showed me Mrs. Bates' corpse, I knew she was dead for sure. But now, now I know it's somebody completely different. Who is it? My real mother. Who is your real mother, Norman? I don't know. She won't tell me. Your mother is dead. Mrs. Bates was your real mother, and she's dead. Then who was that on the phone? My mother. Dr. Raymond was right about both of us. Lila and I were trying to drive you crazy again. But then I stopped, only she won't. And she's the one who's calling. Why did you stop? It wasn't fair for us to be doing what we were doing to you. Is that the only reason? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Sheriff would like to see you out at the swamp. Sheriff, what's uh, what's going on here? Have you ever seen this before? No. Did you, did you find it in the swamp? Yes. How about any of this stuff? But th th this is Mr. Toomey's. Who? Norman's motel manager. Before he fired him, that is. You seen him since? No. I told him to get packing, and he left. That's all I know. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's about it, then. You can leave. Just you, Norman, not the young lady. Oh, but, but shouldn't I wait? Don't worry. I'll have her along presently. Ah, yeah. oh, forget the marker. Get on in there. Sheriff, I've been be wanting to talk to you. Yeah? Yeah, someone has been phoning Norman, claiming to be his mother, and not the dead Mrs. Bates, his real mother. So? So I've been wondering if it's possible that he was adopted. Not that I've ever heard of. And I've lived my entire life here, Miss Loomis. How did you find out who I was? You were a tad slow around here, young lady, but not incompetent. Now, I've got a question for you. Either you or your mother know anything about this? No. Then I don't see any point in either of you staying around Fairvale any longer, do you? Have we broken some law? None that are on the books, but a whole hell of a lot of them that aren't. Like all the ones having to do with right or wrong. I'd say you and your mother just about broken every one of those, wouldn't you? I didn't mean to. Now, that's what Norman said 20 years ago. Only he was crazy. Now, what's your excuse? I guess I don't have one. 
Well, I'll just say goodbye to you now, then. Expect it to be for the last time. Sure. I said goodbye, Miss Loomis. Hey, Sheriff! There's a car down here. Is anybody in it? I can't tell. It's stuck in the mud. Well, get a winch line down to it and get it out of there. All right, they found a car. 